Alrighty guys, what's going on? My name is Evan, aka Gamer Gator. I shouldn't have done it in that order. My bad. But we're back playing Planet Zoo. Apologies for not having up the challenge mode up. Yesterday, I honestly was kind of running on ideas what I wanted to do for my next exhibit. I know what animal I want, but I don't really know how to do the exhibit itself. So I kind of need more time to think on that. You know, I feel like if I'm not inspired, so much to play a coach, if I'm not inspired for an idea, or I don't have an idea, I really can't pull off my build. So, I just need. I'll try for this week, I really will. I do feel more, I think I'm getting some ideas here. So I'm gonna try for next week. So, yeah, but here we go, Mega Zoo. We have some good stuff here. I went a little over the top with this enclosure, not gonna lie, but I could have gone a lot more over the top seeing my initial ideas. So, I guess I'm um, already looking at our lovely ostriches here. We're gonna cut right now to the time lapse.
Hey guys, we're back from the time lapse. We just watched uh, the exhibit be built. Correct. So let's go check out said exhibit. There's a little staff on the area. And as you can see, it gets a lot more tropical here. The idea is this must be a very open area, very chill area. Oh, we need to add the, um, I forgot, I'm gonna add the peacocks in this area because the enclosure is done technically for the peacocks. So we should be good in that regard. So I think we can add the peacocks in this episode as well. So we'll do both. Anyways, as you can see, there's going to be the Flamingo Bridge. That's why it's a lot more tropical here. It's much give off a different feel, you know? And bam. This would probably not be in a normal zoo. It would be more like a natural reserve sort of thing. But I think zoos are trying to become more like national reserves nowadays. Nowadays, So I feel like to an extent it works. It's not too, too outlandish. I was initially going to make a giant glass dome. And that is very outlandish, seeing as how that turned out. And so I feel like this fits in a bit better, especially with, you know, the benches here, and the education boards. It doesn't feel too crazy, plus we have food stuff over here. I feel like every once in a while, I can go a little crazy. This isn't too crazy, this is a little crazy, yeah. It's probably the craziest thing I've built, but it's a little crazy. And we're leading to Australia. I know we were doing Bird World right now, but... With Bird World being done, we're actually going to do the Casuaries right now. Well, not right now, but next episode is going to be the Casuaries. We really need to think on how I start from Australia area. I haven't really thought that out very much, but next is going to be Casuaries. So it'll, to an extent, well, definitely tie in with Bird World here. So that'll be good. And it'll sort of ease you in as well to Australia. So there we go. That is all of that showcase, pretty much. Um, let's do this. What seems to be the problem? Call Keeper? Keeper, Keeper, alright, so it's all problems with the ostrich quotient, great, so, I'm gonna buy, I have an idea, we could probably build a, we could probably build a peacock shelter back here, actually, that, I think that could work, yeah, we'll put it back here, um, we'll add in, let's see, so we need greater flamingos, I believe that's what they're called, and we'll also adopt some peacocks while we're at it, this is probably a bit faster, I think I passed peacocks, but here are the flamingos. Uh, just buy all four of them. Just buy all of them. We'll get f no, we're gonna need a lot more flamingos, not gonna lie. I'm gonna want a lot of flamingos because this is a massive enclosure. Plus, flamingos are normally in large groups. So, we'll, we're gonna just we'll make it a lot easier. So, we're gonna go to. Oh, wait, I don't know the alphabet. We haven't passed the uh, peacock yet. There you go. So, refresh. Buy some more. Refresh, and I think I'm just gonna stick to females from now on. Because I don't want my males to get a little bit dominant and whatnot, so there we go. Um, I'll get a few peacocks running around as well. But I'm just gonna select all, then deselect peacocks. I'm gonna send all of you to this enclosure, right? Yeah. Alright, which is going to be the flamingo enclosure. Flamingos. You know what? Be specific. Be greater. There you go. Now, 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 now. What we want to do is we're gonna want to get a new keeper. Let's check out our new keeper. You have no works on Alright, so. Bam! Wow, it's a pretty large enclosure. Plus that. Greater flamingos. There we go. So now that guy should be attached in there. I think I also need to attach a vet to here as well. Also, I don't have my headphones on, so I cannot really hear the game. I'm just keeping it at the normal volume I would with my headphones on, so it's okay for the actual uh, viewing the actual video is what I mean today. There you go, greater flamingos. Where are my freaking flamingos? Alright, first flamingo is in. We need one just for now. I'm sure it has enough space, right? Yep, oh, it has more water than land. Well, it technically it does, so yeah. So yeah, it has plenty of space. It has hard shelter. We're gonna need less soil and more rock. Alright, I can do that. You know what? We're just gonna like... You do it all up here. If I can. Preferably, this is where I'd want to get it. 
this is a lot of rock here for me because I was just only 0% And you know, it would make sense to put it on the cliff here, so I'll go ahead and do that. Why is this not changing at all? There you go, look at all this rock here. Loads of rock for you. No, I'll do the bottom of the water and I'll do the rock. I think I'll be happy with that. Is this doing... How do I only go up 1% for the rock? How is this barely doing a thing? You know what, I'll do the inside of your little shelter as well, there you go. Let's see, where else can I put some rock? I'll put some rock over here, and alongside the water around here, like so. There we go! We got plenty of rock now. I assume the... yeah. It's too much. <laughs> But, apparently their plant coverage is still 100%, so, hey ho, I'm good with that. Let's see, what do Greater Flamingo like? Greater Flamingo, we're gonna put in the Peacock before we take a look at our flamingos, by the way. So we'll put in a couple of food bowls. We do have a lot of flamingos here. And I would like to get this forage pool nice and up close here. So I'll get ready to these plants here and here. Smooth out the terrain like so. Yeah, the porch pool can be right up front. I think that's a good move. What? But it's in the What? It hasn't escaped. Why is it saying it's escaped? It's because it's in two enclosures right now. Is that why? Because... Don't do that. <laughs> can I turn off animal escape alerts, please? If I can do that, that would be great. Alright, disable... H... No, Death... Animals that are fight... Welfare... Predation and fear... Inspections... Guessing is not easy to do a guessing. A con is not right. Let's see, if I can fix with the con, that would be nice. So let me cash. Let's have my cash. Cancel it. It's an interface. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. You can't run out, can you? No, good. Do a little flappy. Alright, let's get some more enrichment here. There we go. Oh, that's the only thing we can do for food enrichment for you. Let's see if we can get another one then. How about right here? There you go. You have two of them now. We can get you one of these watery things. Donuts. Now I'll get you some spray. There we go, should be a happy, happy flamingo. Let's add the meal quality of this enclosure. Stop saying it's escaped. It hasn't. It's very much in its enclosure. Wait, when does it say it's not in the enclosure? Because it always is. There's no time ever when it's not in the enclosure. <laughs> You're kidding me. You are freaking kidding me, right? Oh my gosh, there are so many flamingos. They'll spread out eventually, right? Right? So let's change all of these facilities here to flamingo. Just ignore the fact that my flamingos have 
escaped, quote unquote. Freaking game. It has to act stupid, doesn't it? It can't just let me have fun. It can't let me have fun. <laughs> Oh, I need more trees there. Alright. Plenty more trees here then. Need a clock. Clock fixes all problems. Clock. Clock. How's that? That's good. Alright. It's fine, game. They are all fine. Let's we'll take a look at them in a bit. We're gonna add in some peacocks first. Alright, and again, we're gonna hire a keeper for this enclosure. Bam, bam, pea fowl, Indian pea fowl. There we go. Third world. There we go. Huh, there we go. That's interesting. Okay. So apparently to enter, they have to go over there. And then do that. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. Sure. I'm just gonna fast forward until my peacock enters. What seems to be the problem here? It can't be reached by keeper, why not? I swear, you better not have escaped. Oh, it's pretty! Needs a bit more short grass. You know what? I can put plenty of short grass in your enclosure, my friend. Plenty of short grass. And that's smooth. I, I said plenty of short grass here. Yeah, there we go. Loads of short grass. Loads of short grass. There you go, bud. I assume it'll do. It'll do. 86% ain't bad. Social is fine. Let's see. Where can you go? You can. Apparently, that's an escape point. Let's see, let's see if I can fix that escape point. Okay, I see the escape point. Edit barrier. Let's freaking fix this. Should be easy enough to fix. There we go. There we go, should be fixed now. Now my P foul should not be able to escape. Is that correct? Can my P foul escape? And they cannot and they cannot go into any of the enclosures, which is also good. Dang, they can escape. Let's see, how does this fence work? If I just move the corner. the move of a jiggy. If I just do that, should be good. Right? Please tell me I'm right. I hope I'm right. Am I not close enough to the microphone? Is that better? I hope I'm close enough, or else the audio would be awful for this episode. Okay, button. How are we doing now? We're doing good. Alright. So, let's give you some important things like food. Alright, you know, we'll just put in a freaking shelter back here. I don't care how it looks. Um... Where, you're from Asia, right? <laughs> How does this look? I might actually like that. I actually quite like that. I'll go for it. It's facing the wrong way. There you go, go nuts. How's your shelter now? I think it was already good, but okay. Oh, I assume the uh, this would have been good for shelter. <laughs> Well, we'll add you some more shelter. Oh, and that probably would've also been good for shelter. Alright, whatever. I guess you would need this then, right? 
still looking for shelter. It'll be nice seeing sleep under here, actually. I'm okay with that. Um, so let's put some food in. You need some food. Oh, did I not get my flamingo's water? Oops. There you go. There you go, pea fowl. Again, we'll get them some large food bowls here and there. Let's see, over there. Where can I put another one? How about... How about here? I can get you a water bowl or a water pipe. Where can I put in a water pipe for you? There you go, have fun drinking there. We have more food points for you. Now the food enrichment. Actually, I just need a little bit more water for them, honestly. That would probably be good for them. There you go, have a little bit more water there. Now for enrichment. I don't really want to get you a forage box, that takes up a lot of space. So I'll get you some slow feeders. How is that so? Oh, apparently I already had enough. Where is your toy enrichment coming from? Are the sprinklers hitting you or something? I need a few more sprinklers, why not? I can not find it. Yeah, it's just a stick. Um, and I'll get you a little mirror thing. Right here. Oh, the plants are too much. 95% will do. Uh, I really want the pea fowl to start roaming up. If I can find them. Oh, they're just... Oh, vet. Okay, we need to sign a vet here. You vet. I'm gonna give you a work zone. There you go. Oh, they're running along the path. Look, it's on the path! Yay! Yay. Where is this freaking keeper? What are you doing? Where are you assigned to? Oh, do I not have a keeper assigned to Ostrich? Hold on. No! What are you doing? <laughs> It says it's for the pea fowl. Are you kidding me? Oh crap. Is it not gonna be able to eat? Are you not gonna be able to eat? No, 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 no. You have to be able to eat. Oh no. If my animals can't eat, then we're gonna have a problem here. Call keeper to this ostrich enclosure. Okay, not the pea fowl, the ostrich. This is oh my gosh, there's gonna be a freaking problem. It's not for the pea fowl, okay? It's for the ostriches! It's for the ostriches! No! <laughs> why is it not- why is it only having the ostriches and not the flamingos? That's weird. We're gonna have baby grounds in this water pool. My ostriches are not gonna get fed. That's a problem. He's cleaning the area, that's good, but he did. Follow this freaking... You're not the keeper! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you on the edge? Stop it! You're being dumb. Stop it. Get some help. Alright, where's my keeper? Where is my... Bro. Are you serious right now? Freaking... Pick... Give them food! I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch you get some food. Okay, get them. Food. Okay, he's going to. Yes. Yes, man. Yes. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. Do it. 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 Give it to you. Don't give it to the pea fowl, okay? Give it to the ostriches. Just. Come on. Come on. That'll do. I'm fine with that. If you put it on the floor, okay, as long as they eat. As long as they eat. Okay? I don't care how you do it, as long as they eat. Okay, we figured that out. Great. Let's say hi to right now. 
small run of people. They are gonna be tough to find. If they're not on the path. Let's see, where are my people? Yes, that Pete Fowl escaped, unfortunately. Okay, that one's there, that's pretty cool. Hey, buddy! Could make for a nice thumbnail, maybe. If I maybe adjust the lighting. Apologies, I accidentally tabbed out there instead of snapping a screenshot. But uh, there we go, we have our screenshot now. Move along, birdie. Oh, that's adorable. Adorable. Oh, wait, I had the. No, I want the full cycle. I don't care. I frankly don't care. Let's just relax here. Oh, the pea fowl's there. Let's go ahead and check out a flamingo enclosure. Any of them over there? Guess what? The answer's no. How about over here? There we go. We got some flamingos there, and that's great. Any more? Because I have like 16 of them. And that's actually not an over exaggeration. Any more flamingos anywhere? If I were a flamingo. Sounds like a great bedtime story. If I were not not bed bedtime story, um, a great folk tale, something like that. I don't know. If I were a flamingo, listen, Beyonce. Instead of, instead of if I were a boy, it's if I were a flamingo. Okay, I trademarked that. Copyright. Oh, there are all the freaking flamingos. Can't see them. Is it raining? Would be nice if it was. Hey, buddy. Let's see if I can find any of them like down here. Or that would be awesome. Unfortunately, I do not see any pea fowl down here. This would be a great spot to see one. It is the ideal area that I prefer them to hang around. Oh, it's raining. At least, I'm, at least my ostriches are getting fed. If they weren't getting fed, then you know I'd have a problem. But they are getting fed, so it's okay. The pea fowl would probably head for the shelter right now. Well, I mean, you're in a forest, kind of, so you're good. I assume the others are just chilling. So there we go, we got a few flamingos here. You can just see one right there. So there we go, guys. There's the enclosure. There's a waterfall thing. There's a big waterfall back there. You know what? I think that is a great-looking enclosure. Especially in the rain, it looks awesome. Any pea fowl over here? No? Alright, we're not going to always see the pea fowl, unfortunately, but that's okay when they reproduce. Hopefully we'll have more around. That would be good. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Bird world is done. Well, other than the cassowaries, which we're going to do next. But there we go. As you can see, I had a lot of empty... I had a lot of space to use here, so... Like, eh, what the heck, just go nuts. So, I went nuts. There you go. Flamingo enclosure. Pea fowl walking around now. I love how it transitions from this, you know, normal looking zoo. You would find that in an ordinary zoo. And then you <laughs> see this, like, national park, freaking Thai national park level stuff. If you know about my Thai national park, um, check out Planet Zoo Tours. It's in that playlist, my tour of Thai national park. I didn't actually build it. I didn't do a series of it. I built that before I actually started YouTube, fun fact. So, yeah. But there you go, guys. There's Bird World pretty much done, because technically the Cats Warriors are going to be in Australia. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Our first, well, not really our first area, but I feel like this, this is the end of the classic area. This is the classic themed area, well, kinda. But then we're going to move into, you know, the area areas. We're going to do like Australia, South America, North America, Asia, you know, a bunch of different Asian sections like India. We'll probably, it's kind of like a redo of India, because... I mean, we kind of already have India, we'll like, be full on India, I feel. And we'll have um, East Asia, let's see what else, uh, Arctic, loads of stuff. It will be great. I really, I wonder when the next Planet Zoo DLC is coming out. 
December, actually, because that's when the next one would, would come out. It's every four months or so. It's been a few months since the last one, so hopefully by then we'll have a new DLC. That would be great. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. It would help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.